Hi Deirdre here, just going to do the uh, drink cost sheet. Um, so again, I always start off by putting on my wrap text. So I select uh, across the top there and put on my wrap text and then it's easier to work out what you're doing. So select down here as well and put on wrap text. And uh, I should have actually, while I had it selected, maybe right aligned it. Uh, and then I might just, let me shrink that in a wee bit. Um, profit per point, shrink that one in. Okay, um, so cost per pint. So we know uh, there are 80 pints in a keg, in this particular keg of Guinness, uh, and the cost of the keg is 200 euros. So it's always money first, money divided by quantity, so that could be the 200 divided by the 80. So equals the cell with the 200 in it, which is C5, divided by the cell with the 80 in it, which is B5, and I press enter. So now the cost of a pint to us is 250. Now, uh, at the moment, uh, that's giving us um, a l random number of decimal places. I might want to take it all to two decimal places by clicking on this comma up here. So if that's what the cost is, here's our selling price. So over here then, uh, we can uh, calculate the profit. So equals the selling price minus the cost price and then press enter. We select along and we drag down. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is uh, we want to get an average. Uh, so in here we click. If you don't see average listed here, type it in and press enter and then average will appear and okay. So the average uh, of uh, the prices uh, of a uh, the, the number of pints uh, in a keg and okay. And then we drag that across. And then the max Click in here, type in max and press enter, and then we should be able to find it and okay. Now be careful, we don't want to include the average in this. So we select from the 80 to the 85, that's fine and okay, and fill that across. Now we need to sort of be careful and make sure we have it, uh, the decimal places done correctly. So I'm gonna select the bottom two rows there and click on my comma, which sort of st standardizes it. Uh, these ones here I might put to two decimal places as well. This is money here. So again, I might put that to two decimal places and, and standardize it. Now we're gonna merge and center across the top. Again, always have done your wrap text before you do this. So click into there and then select like that. Okay, now uh, the ones down here. So let's now right align those headings so it's easier to work with. Okay, so this is are the number of pints sold. It's in the same order up here. The top half and the bottom half are in the same order so we can uh, fill down. So total sales, uh, so we sold 210 pints. We sold each of them for 330. So it's B15 star uh, E5. Okay, and press enter. Total profit then will be equals the 210 multiplied by the 80 cents. Okay, now we select the two of them, we get our fill handle uh, and we drag down. We wanna get the uh, averages, so click on your FX. We were using average recently, so it's listed there and okay. What do we want the average of? We're just gonna click and drag, don't include your total and okay. And now we click and drag across. The max, click on your FX. We were using max recently, so it's listed and okay. Click and drag from the 210 to the one, ooh, missed it there, go again, 210 to the 140 and okay. And then click and drag across. Okay, now uh, we want to get uh, these ones here to two decimal places, that's fine total sales, all of this here could be gone to two decimal places. And we're gonna start doing our borders. So select up here, we'll do the top at the same time, hold down control and click and drag there. All borders, pick outside border. Select the areas that need uh, shading using your control key to select multiple areas. And we click and drag down and we put on our shading. Okay, 